Hello everyone, this is Dao Too Fast here. Now a couple of videos ago I did a review of the Carpuri 9 inch multimedia unit. And with that unit it had a very large display, but it did occupy some of the space at the front when you're driving and looking out through the windshield. Carpuri just released a brand new unit with a slim widescreen display. This is the brand new W103 model. And it features a 10.3 inch ultra wide display with a more compact design so the display is much wider but it's not very tall. I'll go over all the features and setup of this unit, so let's get started. Let me show you the unboxing of this CarPureRide W103 10-inch IPS touchscreen portable smart multimedia unit. Looking on the box, it tells you this supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and Mirror Link. And here's the W103 unit. Cable for connecting the audio output from the unit into your auxiliary input in your car. Cigarette lighter power cable. There's a telescoping, windshield and dash mount. Mounting plate for the suction cup mount. And there's a dash mount. User manual. And an installation guide. Here's a look at everything you get with this unit. You have the manual, the W103 unit, two mounts, cigarette lighter power cable, 3.5 millimeter audio out cable, and the mounting plate. So let's have a closer look at this W103 device. On the front is a wide 10.3 inch color IPS touchscreen. Now this display is a high definition capacitive screen. Looking on the back, there's a 4 ohm 3 watt speaker. Now with this unit you can have the audio play through the speaker or I'll put the audio using the 3.5 millimeter audio cable or you can also use the built-in FM transmitter to transmit the audio to your car radio. Now right here is a photo sensor. It will detect the ambient light and adjust the brightness of the LCD automatically. At the top there's a power button. If you press this button while it's on, it will turn off the LCD. Looking on this side, at the top, there's external microphone connector. Now this unit does have a built-in mic, but if you want you can connect an external mic to this. Next to it, this is the micro SD memory card slot. If you put media onto the memory card, you can play the media using this micro SD memory card slot. Next to it, this is the camera input. You do have the option to connect an external backup camera to this unit, so when you put the car in reverse, the display will switch over to the backup view. Next, this is the audio output. Using a 3.5 millimeter audio cable, you can get the audio to come out from this port and into your auxiliary input in your car. Next to it, this is the USB-A connector. Again, if you put media onto an external USB drive, you can play the media using this port. At the very bottom here, this is the USB-C connector and this is for powering this unit. To install this into your vehicle is very simple. Carperide included a windshield mount and a dash mount, so you can choose one that best suits your vehicle. Right here is a dash mount. Now with this dash mount, this side here will clip onto the unit. You can remove the backing on a double sided tape and stick this onto your dash. It also has holes for you to screw this onto your dash. Now right here is the windshield mount. It also has a telescoping feature right here. So you can connect this base onto the back of the unit and then you can either stick this onto your dash using this plate or you can put the suction cup onto the windshield and have this extend and telescope out to where you need it. To power this unit, you'll be using this cigarette lighter power cable. On one end, you have the USB-C connector. Connect the USB-C connector to the DC input. And then plug this into your 12 volt accessory port. Right now, you're looking at the home screen. Now, this display has a very nice layout. On the left side, you have a clock and the home button, volume adjust, the brightness. On the right side, you have the icons for all the features. So right here, you have the Apple CarPlay. Android Auto, the AirPlay, Auto Link, Equalizer to adjust the sound, Bluetooth for calls, USB to look at the media that you plugged in, there's the micro SD memory card, and right here is the FM transmitter to transmit the audio to your car radio, and this is the settings button. And with this layout, it's very convenient to adjust the volume, adjust the brightness, you can turn on auto brightness, or manually set the brightness. 
Now I'll be connecting my Android phone to this unit, but if you have an Apple phone, just follow the instructions in the manual and I'll step you through on how to set it up. With my setup, I will be using the wireless Android Auto. This unit does support both wired and wireless Android Auto. To do the initial setup to connect my Android phone to this unit, select Android Auto. Here it tells you it supports both wireless and wired connection. Now if you want to use a wireless Android Auto, it does require that the phone have to have Android 11 or higher. And the Bluetooth name for this unit is W113-010A82. On my phone right now I'm looking at the Bluetooth available devices. And right here is the W113 device. Select that. It's pairing. Select pair. And it's now connected. As you can see the setup is that simple. So right now you're looking at the Android Auto and this is the Google Map. Now I'll take this to the vehicle, get it installed and go over some of the features on this unit. To install this unit, you can either use the dashboard mount or the suction cup mounts. If you use a dashboard mount, it's pretty straightforward. What you want to do is clip this side onto the back of the unit and then use the included double-sided tape and then tape this directly onto the dashboard or you can use the screw holes and screw this down onto the dashboard. You can also adjust the angle of the bracket. Now, if you want to use a suction cup mount, there are two ways of installing this. Let me clip this into the back. Using the included round plate, you can stick this onto the dash and then put the suction cup mounts onto that round plate. Now you can adjust the angle up and down and also telescope forward and back. Or you can use a suction cup mount and place this directly onto the windshield. Now for my install, I'll be using the dash mount. Connect the power cable to the DC input port. Next, I'll install the dashboard mount onto the unit. Now with this mount, you can also swivel this left and right. And you can also tilt this forward and back. This mount comes with this double side tape. Remove the backing on the double side tape and then you stick this onto the base. And then on the other side, you can stick this directly onto the dashboard. With the double side tape, I'll stick this right onto the dash. Press it down and hold it for about a minute. You can adjust the angle and tighten the knob at the back. Plug in the cigarette letter power cable. With the unit installed, once you turn on the ignition, it will power on automatically. And since I've already paired my phone with this device using Bluetooth, the Android Auto will start automatically. Right now you're looking at Waze. Now if you want to go to the Android Auto homepage, press the icon at the bottom left hand corner. So here it will show you all the compatible apps for Android Auto. So for example, if I want to open up Spotify, I can do that. You also have Google Maps. You can search for a destination. Home Depot nearby. I'm setting your destination to the Home Depot in Decula. So as you can see, you can use the built-in mic to search for locations. You can also make phone calls if you want. Here I'll dial my voicemail. You have no messages in your mailbox. Main menu. To send a message, press 2. Now, if you want to go back to the Carper Ride homepage, here you can select Exit. Now we're back at the Carper Ride homepage. Now, at the back, I did insert a USB memory stick. I'll select the USB. And it will automatically load the music and play it. Again, you can adjust the volume using the volume icon right here. The brightness is set to auto right now. So using the photo cell at the back, it will automatically adjust the brightness of the screen. Now what I showed you just now, the audio is being played with a built-in speaker. And this speaker actually works pretty well. It's quite loud and it's very clear. I think this unit sounds a lot better than the unit that I tested last time. Now you can also transmit the audio using the FM transmitter. 
And if you look at this icon here, this transmit, select that. Here you see FM transmit and Bluetooth transmit. Now I did test the Bluetooth transmit, but I found it didn't always connect to the car's Bluetooth audio. So the connection is not very reliable. And that's something you want to keep in mind. Now to use the FM transmitter is very simple. Select that. I'm going to tune this to 88.3. This frequency is not used by any radio station right now. And you can turn on and off the FM transmitter with this button right here. That's off. And this is on. Now looking at the factory radio, I've also tuned it to 88.3. With this green power button on right now, the audio is being transmitted to my car radio. I'll show you that by selecting the USB drive and I'll play the music. Now I'm going to turn up the volume on my car radio. Now you can also output the audio using a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And this is the included cable that came with this unit. So if your vehicle does have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary audio input port, then you can plug this cable from the unit into your vehicle. So I'll plug this cable to the audio output port. So this audio you're listening to is coming out on the car speaker and the built-in speaker. If you reduce this volume control, it will also reduce the audio to the car speaker. If you mute it, it will mute the audio. And this audio output also works with Android Auto. After testing this for a couple of weeks, I really like this unit. I like the overall design with this nice wide screen. It doesn't block the windshield like the other unit I tested. And the screen is still large enough for you to use navigation and select the different icons and the apps in Android Auto. So if you have a vehicle that did not come with navigation, Android Auto, or Apple CarPlay, this is a great device to put in your vehicle. It's easy to install, easy to set up, and within minutes, you have all the latest convenience features in your vehicle. And best of all, it doesn't cost you thousands of dollars if you were to buy a vehicle and you have to get a certain trim level just to get the navigation feature. At the time of this review, you can get this W103 for $280. If you're interested, check out the link below and I'll include a coupon code for you to get additional savings. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.